They will be demonstrating the procedure for estimation of creatinine in a given sample by Jaffer's method. This is a sample. This is the standard creatinine, distilled water, picric acid, and 0.75 normal sodium hydroxide. For this, I've taken three test tubes. With this marker, I've labeled this B, S, and T. B for blank, S for standard, and T for the test. I've taken the test tube rig, I've taken the test tube holder for this. So first, I have to take 3 ml of the sample. So, while taking the reading, we have to take we get the lower meniscus. So this sample was taken in the test tube level with D. The next one is the standard creatinine or the working creatinine. Like in case of the sample, I will be taking 3 ml in the test tube level with stand as standard. This is it. And the next one is the distilled water. ml of distilled water in the test tube level with B. So after this, I'll be taking picric acid. Picric acid, one ml in S. Again, one ml in standard. Likewise, one ml in blank. And last one is 0.75 normal sodium hydroxide. So this 0.75 normal sodium hydroxide, I'll be putting 1 ml each in each of the test tube. So 1 ml in the test, 1 ml in the standard. So, now the test tube. I have to mix it well. Ok. 
After this, I will be keeping this three test tubes for 10 minutes. These are the three test tubes. After uh, keeping the test tubes for 10 minutes, I will be measuring the optical density with this colorimeter. This is the blank, this is the standard, this is the test. I will be using cubit. And this is the colorimeter. And the wavelength should be 520 this is 520 so 520 i have fixed with uh, at 520 at this 520 i'll be measuring the optical densities of the uh, this three test tubes first i'll start with the blank this is the blank of the outer surface so this white mark it has to be aligned with the notch here so let's keep this then I have to press it the blank so 0 0.00, 0. this is optical density of the blank and then I'll wash it with the water. The next one is the standard. The sequence would be blank, standard, and then taste. This is it. Point four one. The optical density of the standard. Last one is the this. comes as 0.17 coming to the calculation part the optical density of the taste it is 0.17 the optical density of the standard is 0 0.41. So using the formula serum creatinine equal to optical density of the taste divided by optical density of the standard into concentration of the standard divided by volume of serum whole into 100. After substituting the value, we get 1.6 milligram present as a value of serum creatinine in the given sam sample. So now coming to the interpretation, the serum creatinine in the given sample is 1.6 mg percent which is more than the normal range that is it is increased. 
the normal range of serum creatinine is 0.72 1.4 milligram per cent